were on Oahu and we just came from Kauai and before that we were on Maui so if you haven't seen those videos maybe check them out but that's not the focus today the focus today is on Oahu our main agenda is mostly just to check out a few beaches we're currently on the north shore and we'll then go to um, just wrap around the island kind of and we're gonna check out some places to eat and walk around Pearl Harbor and all that jazz but right now we're on a beach called Lanai or Lanai Kea Beach and it is a beach that is kind of well known as the turtle beach because lots of turtles come here daily and rest up on the beach but um, currently we're here early morning there is no turtles here and I think that's because they come around midday so maybe we'll come back later and check if they're here around midday but as of right now no turtles but what's weird about this beach is it's so rocky there's like rock where the sand should be on the shoreline. Seriously, be very careful on this beach. Matt just was walking on these moss-covered rocks and he completely ate it and fell down. Luckily, our camera didn't get scratched. The lens didn't get broken, I don't think. But here, look at Matt's behind. Thing when we pulled in we saw it said R.I.P. Matt and I said oh that's funny I'm gonna get hurt here and die here and I, I almost did hurt myself so be careful <laughs> I definitely recommend this beach for snorkeling, but it is really hard to get in and out with these rocks and the rocks are slippery. You're probably gonna see the footage of me falling earlier on the rocks. These rocks are even more. So if you're coming here, you definitely wanna bring your water shoes. We had our flippers, it's kinda of hard. If you really like flippers, I guess you can bring them, but you definitely wanna bring at least water shoes to get in and out of the beach. Uh, but we saw lots of fish, lots of fish, and it's really cool with all the rocks. It's totally different compared to the other places we've been. They've been all sand or all coral. This had huge rocks for a lot of the fish to hide under. And if you're a fan of going under real deep, it would be cool if you, because you can, some of these rocks you can like kind of swim between and under. So I highly recommend. This has probably been my top one or two spots so far that we've snorkeled. And this beach is called Shark's Cove. It's one of the top snorkeling spots on Oahu. 
and it shows you can definitely see lots of different fish here but yeah it is a little dangerous i wouldn't say it's for a beginner snorkeler So we drove into the Valley of the Temples Memorial Park. It is basically a big graveyard, but it's really, really pretty. Very well upkept. There's lots of different types of tombstones and stuff. And it was really cool to see the differences in all of them. And they have some really cool um, shrines around too, including this big Japanese looking sh shrine. And it looks really, really beautiful. And it's crazy that you can find a piece of Japan here in Hawaii, but um, Hawaii actually has a good bit of Japanese people living here and um, it costs five dollars a person to get into that shrine. It's cool coming back here and just seeing everything too. It's very very uh, pretty and well kept. Quite a place to have uh, be your final resting place for sure. site and museum which is probably one of the most popular destinations and one of the most popular tourist sites in Honolulu to see. Um, we were a little underwhelmed with the amount that's there. There is a free museum you can walk through. It's two little sections really not that much to see there. You have to pay seven dollars to park. There is a separate admission to go see the Arizona which is one of the more popular things to do. It's out on the water. Looks like there's a separate admission to see the submarine. So really the only thing free you can do is come and went, go through the museum, which is what we went through. Yeah, and walk around the grounds. Most people watching this are probably familiar with Pearl Harbor, but if you're not, uh, it was a site of a Japanese attack on December 7th, 1941 uh, on the American Navy, and it actually is what thrust America into the war in World War II. So it is kind of a sad sight, and it's always kind of weird to me at these sites where people are taking selfies and making weird faces and stuff, just because it is a site that people have died and given their lives for. Almost 3,000 people. So if you come, just be respectful and read all the little infographics and try to learn as much as you can. So we went up kind of this hillside right beside Honolulu. There's lots of nice houses up this way, but we're going to this, I think it's a state park, but along the way there's really good lookout here where you can see the skyline of Honolulu and also Diamond Head Crater where you can hike, but we um, didn't do reservations for that, but it looks really impressive. 
yeah, really pretty views up here. I'm excited to see what the park has then. from up here at the state park is really nice. Such an unexpected find, but really nice and free. We love that. This is off topic, but when I was getting out of the car, I saw something, a different color in like the air vent and I looked and there's like a little dead gecko in our air vent so we've been breathing dead lizard air hawaii thing <laughs> by here yesterday we noticed there was a really cool looking palace and then here we found out the capital was here the palace and so we wanted to stop and looked at it because it looked really pretty and we haven't seen any videos anybody mention it but a lot of interesting stuff here I guess this is where the first missionaries came converted a lot of native Hawaiians to Christianity the old, oldest house in Hawaii is here really interesting palace the capital itself was built in 1960 so it's newer looking but really neat area if you want to come and just spend some time it's nice and shady and walk around parking is crazy though it's kind of hard to find parking pretty much all honolulu is hard to find parking Sadly, that wraps up everything we have to do on Oahu. There's a few major things we missed, such as Diamond Head Crater. Um, there's a nice hike that goes up there. It requires reservations for parking. And um, it has a nice overlook of the cityscape, but it also has a view of a crater. And we've heard that's really nice. We didn't go to the Dole Plantation either, which is a very, very touristy spot on Oahu. Everyone who comes to Oahu I think goes to the Dole Plantation. Um, you can get Dole Whip there. You can take a little ride through their pineapple farms and everything but yeah we skipped that and there's also a falls that we accidentally skipped. We missed it. Um, it's called Waimea Falls. But there's a few other things to do. There's a lot more beaches to check out. 
um, but honestly this island is not our vibe it's probably our least favorite just because it's very city and we knew that going into it but yeah the city vibe is just not us we much more like the rural country stuff but yeah that's all we did on oahu and next we're gonna be island hopping over to the big island so hopefully we'll catch you there bye